This is uh, our forefather's insulation. I've already got a pretty good disc bucket. Employing an ancient method used by woodsmen around the world, the team uses moss to fill gaps in their log walls. I'm kind of looking for the more fluffier stuff, the thicker stuff, because it, it dries out better. Give us some good insulating value. Well, this here work real well for closing it up. That's some good stuff there. You betcha. Block the gaps. This moss right now is real wet and damp. You can take this stuff, get it packed in here. I mean, it'll pack tight, too. And then, after a few days, this hot stove going, this stuff's going to dry. Dry pretty hard right in place. It'll block that wind. It'll do a good job blocking the wind. It's been used in these old trapper cabins up here for hundreds of years. It's a good seal. Yeah, we've got this flue pipe in here. Now we don't have to be smothered half to death every day with this smoke. With the log cabin built and insulated, the last step is a chimney to keep out the smoke from their wood fire. OK, Charles, there you go. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this will work. Did it go over it? Yep. Now we have a whole lot less smoke to have to deal with inside here. Enjoy a little more heat. We can really fire it up now. It's really going to hold the heat for us. Once all those side walls are done, it'll hold heat well. It'll feel good. Be the best, warmest raft on the river. 